9 Early Signs of Gastrointestinal Disease You Should Know We've all had stomach problems at some point in our lives. So, how are you supposed to recognize the difference between gastrointestinal symptoms that are simply annoying and those that indicate a digestive illness that requires medical attention? Let's dig into more details, but before we get begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any of our amazing videos. The severity of gastrointestinal symptoms can range from mild to severe. If you experience the symptoms we'll describe in this video on a regular basis, or if they cause you significant discomfort, your body may be trying to communicate with you about a digestive disease. So without further ado, let's get started. Number 1. Excess Gas and Bloating Bloating can be a sign of a number of gastrointestinal disorders, such as irritable bowel syndrome, or dietary intolerance, such as celiac disease. Bloating symptoms include stomach pain, discomfort, and gas. You may also burp or belch regularly, as well as experience belly rumbling or gurgling. If bloating is accompanied by other serious symptoms, such as blood and stool, it's time for a medical checkup right away. Number 2. You're awakened by epigastric discomfort. Among practicing gastroenterologists, it is common knowledge that gastrointestinal problems reveal themselves while the patient is asleep. The most visible and common manifestation of this is the development of epigastric pain, which often awakens the patient from sleep in the early morning hours. The patient's behavior of getting up from sleep is highly predictable, and it can be extremely useful in making a diagnosis of a duodenal ulcer. Patients may also wake up with symptoms that appear unrelated to gastrointestinal disorders such as chest pain, heartburn, or regurgitation into their throat. Number 3. Constipation The National Institutes of Health defines constipation as having fewer than three bowel movements per day or passing firm and dry stool. Constipation is seen as a warning sign for a variety of digestive diseases. If constipation occurs frequently throughout your life, you may have chronic constipation, which is a serious digestive illness. It usually happens as a result of a change in diet or routine, or from a lack of fiber. If you have significant pain, blood in your stools, or constipation that lasts more than three weeks, consult your doctor as soon as possible. Number 4. Cracks in the Anal Area Anal fissures are both a structural and functional condition that occurs in response to various gastrointestinal problems in the body. Bacteria cause fissures, or cracks, in the lining of your anal opening. The most common cause of an anal fissure is the passage of excessively hard feces. The break in the anal lining exposes the underlying muscles that control the flow of stools through the amus and out of the body. An anal fissure is one of the most painful conditions to have because the exposed muscles become irritated from exposure to feces or air. Following bowel movements, it might cause intense pain, bleeding, or even spasm. Anal fissures are treated with pain medication, dietary fiber to prevent large, bulky stools, and sits baths, which involve sitting in a few inches of warm water. If these treatments do not relieve your pain, surgery to repair the sphincter muscle may be required. Number 5. Hemorrhoids Although not an illness in itself, this is a common symptom of various gastrointestinal diseases. Hemorrhoids are simply dilated veins in the rectum. Simply speaking, the blood vessels that run down the anal opening have swelled and expanded. They are caused by persistent excess pressure from straining during a bowel movement, recurrent diarrhea, or pregnancy. Hemorrhoids can be internal or external. Internal hemorrhoids are blood vessels that are found on the inside of your anal orifice. They get inflamed and begin to bleed when they are driven down into the anus as a result of straining. External hemorrhoids are veins on the outside of the auricle that is positioned just beneath the skin surface. It is possible that straining causes the external hemorrhoidal veins to break, resulting in a blood clot beneath the skin. The medical term for this excruciatingly painful condition is pile. Treatment may include the removal of the clot and vein under local anesthesia, as well as the complete removal of hemorrhoids. Number 6. Diarrhea Chronic diarrhea that lasts more than a day or two 
may suggest the presence of a digestive disorder such as lactose intolerance or inflammatory bowel disease. Infections, traveler's diarrhea, and pharmaceutical side effects are the most prevalent causes of acute and persistent diarrhea. Many viruses also cause diarrhea. In most cases, diarrhea settles on its own within a day or two. But if it persists more than that, you should consult your doctor right away. Number 7. Heartburn If you experience heartburn twice or more each week, you may have gastroesophageal reflux disease, simply known as GERD or heartburn. Leaving stomach acid untreated for an extended period of time may cause esophageal injury and subsequent problems. Number 8. Vomiting and Nausea Nausea and vomiting can be caused by an infection in your gastrointestinal tract. Consult your doctor if your vomiting lasts more than two days for adults, 24 hours for children under the age of two, or 12 hours for infants, or if you have unexplained weight loss in addition to nausea and vomiting. Number 9. Abdominal Discomfort Because most digestive issues are accompanied by stomach discomfort, you should see your doctor if you are experiencing persistent abdominal pain. This could be a sign of an ulcer, diverticulitis, or irritable bowel syndrome. If you're having any of these worrying stomach symptoms, make an appointment with an endoscopic center immediately for an evaluation. If you're unsure if your gastrointestinal symptoms are severe enough to require a visit to a gastroenterologist, remember that any symptom that you deem persistent should be evaluated. Here is a list of the most common causes of these disorders. Escherichia coli is a bacillus that can be found in the intestines. The vast majority of strains are harmless, but some contain toxins that can induce abdominal pain, vomiting, and bloody diarrhea. E. coli is the most prevalent cause of foodborne illness around the globe, accounting for more than half of all cases. It has a greater chance of spreading among crowded persons. Although the virus is most commonly transmitted by contaminated food or drink, it can also be transmitted from person to person through viral contact. We also have salmonella infection, which is commonly caused by eating raw or undercooked poultry, pork, or eggs, among other things. The most prevalent type of salmonella infection is gingivitis, which accounts for 90% of all cases. Giardia is a parasite that is easily transmitted through human contact or by drinking contaminated water. It is resistant to chlorine and has the potential to spread in public swimming pools. Infection can occur through consuming contaminated water or bathing in contaminated lakes and rivers. Let us now discuss its treatment. Self-care techniques are frequently recommended as a treatment. Antibiotics will not help with viral or parasitic stomach infections. Antibiotics can be quite helpful in tough cases of bacterial infection. However, in simple cases, antibiotics may aggravate the sickness and increase the probability of a relapse. Aside from that, antibiotics can have fatal consequences in some cases of infection. Your doctor can help you determine whether you or your child needs antibiotics or not. Your doctor may urge you to avoid high-fiber foods because they may worsen your diarrhea symptoms. They may also recommend over-the-counter medications to neutralize stomach acid or treat symptoms such as nausea, abdominal pain, and diarrhea. Hydration is the most important self-care treatment for both adults and children with gastrointestinal illnesses. We hope you enjoyed watching the video. If so, hit the like button and share it with your friends and family. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more of our amazing videos. You can also watch our other videos suggested just for you. See you in the next video.